Hello and welcome to another episode of KOTN, Knights of the Nexus. This is Rastral, Pain, Pain, no, Plain, Hearthstone, uh, Heroes of Warcraft. It's a, basically a card game for those of you who don't know, but with a bit of a twist, you've got different um, classes you can play as. So you've got the Druid, the Hunter, all these different classes, and they have different decks they use. So the Mage can have mirror image, this is only a mage thing. And then you have the neutral ones, neutral cards. You've got different types of cards that uh, all races can use, all classes can use. I'm not gonna get much into the details of the game, I'm just gonna play a duel here. I'm playing a hunter and I'm, I'll be showing you how I play. I've made myself a custom uh, card deck. You can do that, you can also disenchant cards you don't want to make new cards that you might want for your class. Or you can use already made uh, hunter or druid decks or whatever. Your guys also level up, and the higher you go, you get uh, you get more cards. You also got money down here, gold, that you can spend to buy packs. You can either use real money or you go doing daily quests, and you get uh, coins, gold. So without further ado, I'm gonna be playing a ranked match. Probably get my arse spanked, but here goes. I chose a hunter because I've always liked playing as a hunter in every game, normally MMOs. This is a card game, it doesn't really matter, but I wanted to go with a the hunter. There's different types of cards as well, there's beast cards, dragon cards, different domination, yeah, de denominations of cards, and I tend to use the beast cards for my hunter, because certain hunter cards use uh, go, well to, uh, go well together with beast cards. So. Probably not make, making much sense, but you'll see as the game progresses how this works. So you see that this, the Vulture, the Buzzard is a beast card, and the Savannah and High Main is a beast card. And this is a Hunter skill. So I can replace my cards, my starting cards if I don't want them. What I normally do is I want to start with low cards. So I'll take this one off, and I have a Wind Fury, another Beast card. Apart from the cards, every class, although I'm playing a Hunter now, but every class has this, a Steady Shot that costs 2 mana. And you see here's a Mana, Greetings, Mana Crystals. Traveler. Cards also cost mana, that one was a card that you can see your deck, you've got 30 cards in your deck, and choose a card out of it. So I like... Um, I like this one. So if I have a beast, I'll deal more damage. If I use it without a beast here, I'll only deal 3. I hate playing against my uh, guy that's using the same class as me, because it gives me that extra pressure. I want to be the best hunter in the, in the game, so... Well, in this match at least, so pressure is on. Multi shot, and now the good thing about this card is whenever you summon a beast card, you draw another card. So I like playing this card when I'm able to play another beast card to make sure I get a new card. So I'll just fire this steady shot to him. Job done. Two damage. The aim of the game is basically get this guy below zero, or zero or below, and you win. Obviously he'll start uh, playing cards as well, and he'll limit the damage I can give him. This is Snipe. So, this one's a new one, I can't remember. Your opponent plays a minion, deal for damage, alright. So, that, that's a good card to have, it's a secret card, you play it and you keep it there. The guy doesn't know what you've played, and when he uses a card, you'll snipe it for 4 damage. I like to use those when the game uh, evolves a bit so that I'm able to do more damage to bigger cards he might use or stronger cards. So now I'm gonna use a Vulture here and add the Wind Fury boy. Bad boy. Oh! I'm used to playing in the iPad so it's a bit dodgy using the mouse. I'm on the PC now. So you see I draw a card and it's a Stampeder. It's good, good to have a healthy stack of cards back here. When you're left with one card, it starts getting, it's got uh, the game starts getting a bit 
difficult because you don't have many options to play with. And look at this guy here. I didn't know he followed the cursor. This is an unnecessary distraction right here. So he's gonna play the same card as me. Yeah, same tactic. So this guy, this beast improves your attack. So he's improved his uh, buzzard's attack. Now with this guy, you can attack twice. So what I'm gonna do? I think I can attack twice. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. So what I'm gonna do here? Actually, if I play this dude here, I can give taunt, which is basically, I'll show you now. I'll give taunt to this guy. And it gives a shield. Basically, he needs to attack me. Oh, certain uh, attacks he makes can attack me directly. But if he plays one of these cards, that card needs to attack this guy before he attacks me, my character. So, in, es in essence, he's protecting me. Now, with this guy, I can attack twice. So, I'll attack this dude once. I don't want him getting any more cards, so I'll attack this dude. And the wolf. Mm. Yeah, I'll take him out. Yeah, you've got a timer too, so you don't want to take too much time deciding on what to do. Let's see what he does. It's a random companion, so you play that card, you get a random animal companion. Leok, other friendly minions have plus one attack. He increases the attack of other minions too. The thing, the clever thing about this game is it kind of, it's, if you've played World of Warcraft before, it's getting me hooked, it's not getting me hooked, but it's giving me flashbacks of the game, nostalgia, I'm feeling nostalgic, and I want to play Warcraft from time to time, especially when I hear the sound effects. It actually gave me a reward for amount for the World of Warcraft game, so... Yeah, this guy is pretty nifty. Look, if you draw him, enemy minions with two or less attack will instantly die. Thing is, he's got a secret thing here. So I wonder. I wonder. Yes, indeed. I wonder what that secret thing might be. It's, prob it's probably a card that when I attack him, it'll attack me back, something like that. So. I want to go in with this guy, probably. Not sure. Not sure what to do here. Because he'll probably die, he only has one life. Yeah, I'll just go in for, with this guy. See, so that's the secret. Oh, damn. Had to damage to all. Well, that sucked. But I guess I'd have to attack him sooner or later, so... Wasn't any help in that. There's higher level cards too, this is a rare, you see that blue blue thing in the middle under the name, the Stampeding Kodo? That's a rare card, it goes up to um, orange, that's the most rare card, the orange card. So now I've got 6 mana, I can start making combination of cards here. So I want to take out another Kodo, Kondo, Buzzard thingy. And maybe play... I'm gonna play it safe for now. I'm gonna take out another Taunt card. Keep this Hunter's Mark. This Hunter's Mark basically takes itself down to zero. Uh, to one, sorry. And you can one hit the guy. What does this guy do? Restore 3 health. Um, yeah, that's when... I wonder. I wonder indeed. Yeah, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna attack this guy actually. Screw it. Screw it. End turn. For now he's winning. Albeit by 2 points, but he's winning. winning. Oh. Damn it. 
and now he'll attack me with this guy and he yeah yeah I should have taken him out oh no he's gonna go for oh no yeah he's, he's, he, he went for me so I should have taken him out and avoided more damage but hey so whenever friendly beast dies gain 2 plus 1 that's good cause if I take out this guy here no not you you then play him this dude's gonna die now and he'll get a boost in attack and hopefully if he doesn't kill me or kill this guy or this guy or whatever he does I could use him to make some nice damage I'm gonna keep this snipe card for now shall I um, no I'm gonna play I'm gonna I'm gonna play the snipe card too see how that goes so when he draws a, a minion another card if it's below if it has be below four health which is this red one here I didn't say this is a health and this is the attack the yellow one I'll one hit kill him so hopefully it's a good card and I'll uh, destroy his plans let's see let's see what it does right now I'm protected both by the sniper card snipe card and this bad boy here the iron for a grizzly looking rather ferocious let's see what this is Let the pain speak to me. yeah so he's going down the acolyte in pain but he's drawing a card because I killed him so I guess it wasn't too bad it wasn't a very expensive card only cost 3 mana could have been worse for him but it wasn't bad for me either really want to play, uh, win this match, it's the first match I record and I really want to win this and now he's raped me with a hunter's mark so this guy only has one health and he'll probably kill me with a charge or something, let's see time moves quickly boy, better move it so he's just gonna attack me directly cause this skill boycotts or avoids any taunt uh, card you have so it directly attacks uh, the enemy hero so now I can attack him with this dude and this dude this kill command as I said before you do some extra damage so 5 damage right up in there 2 damage right here and I'll play this beast beastie boy let's see that's this guy I should have played him first because now this has gone up by one each and I would have done more damage but hey it's random sometimes you get a taunt card sometimes you get other cards so far so good let's see what's going down now now I'm winning just five points difference but I'm winning but it can all change in a draw of a, a single card you never know what these guys do. So for every minion I have, every card I have, he gets a small dog, a hound. And this I don't know what it is. At the end of your turn, give another random thingy friendly minion plus one attack. So yeah, that's a good move he's doing. The hound master just made this guy um, have taunt and increased his as he's a beast, increased his ability by 2, his attack by 2. Whoa. Shit just got heavy! Okay. So I wanna kill this guy first, or I need to kill this guy first. And I've got this that makes 3 damage to 2 random em enemies. So hopefully one of them will be this one. Let's see. Yep, so he's gone. And this just got raped. Um, now basically I've got 9 attack, 11, 12, 13, so yeah, he's gonna die. 4, 5, 9, 2 over here, and my snipe card, steady shot. And he gone! Oh, he gone! So yeah, I'm the best archer in this tournament. Thank you very much. And I just uh, leveled, so if you get win streaks, you level faster. I'm just a novice engineer. I'm not that that a big shot, really. 
and as you go getting wins, consecutive wins, you also get more gold, which is always good. So that's been the first episode, hope you enjoyed it, my little battle with the other archer, so let me hear what you thought about it, and I'll see you next time I play this, so bye bye, thanks for watching.